everyone and welcome back to Ledesia. Today we are here with two sims whom we really haven't met yet. This is married couple, the Alchemist couple. We have Kalea Alchemist right here and her husband. Oh, you're going to make me feel bad because I don't remember your name. Jacob! I'm sorry, Jacob. You see? Oh, look at him. Look at him. Cress and his wife being so cute. You see, Jacob, I just haven't had the chance to play you two yet, like at all. And that's really, that's kind of sad, is because they're, they're a married couple who doesn't want any kids, and we have been so busy with the Ledesia children because the generations must go on. But we need to spend a little bit of time with these two because they are involved with some of the most fun community lots that we have here on Ledesia, including this place. Dun dun dun! What you see here is the absolutely amazing, quite fun, can't wait to see how it turns out, Museum of Sciences. So this is the museum. Uh, Jacob is going to be the museum curator. He's going to be in charge, the director, the curator, everything. He's in charge of the museum. His wife, Kalea, actually works on the archaeology dig site. She's an archaeologist, and she works at the dig site that is somewhere in that yonder direction. So we may see her at her lot in a little bit too. But they're pretty fun. They're kind of a, a knowledge sim couple. He's, he's very much into uh, money as well. In fact, his lifetime want, if I recall correctly, he's, yeah, he's playground monitor right now, but that is just kind of a substitute to mean that he's in the educational career tract. If I can find a museum uh, custom career, or even make one myself, and if I do, I'll share it, that would be what he would be right now. So I might hunt down a custom career, and I love that. Isn't that amazing about Sims 2? You can really customize this game in all of the most minute details that you can possibly think of and possibly want. So I'm very excited about that. So we're going to try out um, finding some custom careers that'll be the museum and hopefully something a little bit better for Kalea. She's in the adventure career track now because it counts as relic liberator. That's one of the careers that she can have there. But an archaeologist career for her would be really fun too. But yeah, he's going to be in charge of the museum and his lifetime want is to have a level 10 museum. So he wants to turn this museum from what it is now into a level 10 institution. I think that the way this place can make money is going to be from tickets for general admission into the museum. And then probably from, oh, I know, we can have like a souvenir shop. We could set up a little souvenir shop, maybe over here. And the museum will expand too. It's on a very big lot. It's meant to have room for new wings being expanded. And Sims from around the town might put aside chunks of money. Like they might get the gold bars um, that are super expensive. If you guys haven't seen those before, I love these gold bars. I think they're really cool. Do do do. See, $25,000 gold bar, 25,000 Simolonian, excuse me, gold bar and a 10,000 simolonian silver bar, and then a 5,000 simolonian bronze bar. And I use that as a quick and dirty way to donate a chunk of money from one household to another. So say the Eurekas are feeling in a really generous mood, they might just toss one of these bronze bars at Caleb and that, or Caleb, excuse me, Jacob, you're not Caleb. And that'll count as a $5,000 donation to the museum, which would be really cool. And he can use that money to get new exhibits and things. Or Sims just might straight up donate some of the artwork itself. So that would be pretty fun. Oh, and I know we could probably set up like a little, a little place to buy. Let's see. Like one of these rooms, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the office. But one of these rooms, like maybe this room, could be a dining place. So we could probably set up some things to sell. He might actually go and buy some of Natalie's food maybe to sell. Or, I know, he could set up some cupcakes that he could sell um, from Sky Muffin. So people could eat here. So that they'll have a little cafe, probably a coffee bar. That's how we'll make that work. And then it'll just be a nice place to come and visit in Ledesia. I mean, Ledesia is all about sciences. So this museum should be quite the hit. It doesn't have anything in it yet because I wanted to come and show it off in, from its very beginning for you guys. So this is the museum in its infancy. When just the structure is built, it looks like we even have to add some walls that I forgot. Whoops. Yeah, we have to add some walls that I totally just apparently spaced out on. Oh, that's right. I was going to do an open air thing. Never mind. 
and you know just add some of the exhibits and Kalea it's gonna be pretty fun her lifetime want is to get a hundred thousand dollars in relics collected so that means that she is going to spend her time using the dig for treasure function over on the archaeology lot and when she eventually gathers ten, uh, let's see a hundred thousand dollars worth of that treasure which you know if she gets lucky and finds a few treasure chests that'll be really cool then she'll get her lifetime want fulfilled so those are a couple of custom lifetime wants that i decided to make for these two. Oh, they're so cute look at them be cute with each other but yeah otherwise jacob's just jacob is just gonna have to spend time entertaining people and letting them look at items and things like that so i think it should be pretty fun i think it should be pretty fun huh jacob but yep and I have a feeling his wife will be over here helping him out a lot. They're, they're a pretty cool team couple. Oh, and a little bit about them. Jacob Alkempt. He's pretty cool. Pretty cool guy. He was one of those graduated from the top of the top elite schools in, in the nation, in Sim Nation. And could have had anything he wanted, but just as dedicated to the core, to his passion for history and science and uh, just general education of the public. He doesn't get along really well with some personality types, and he's pretty shy, but he really comes out of his shell if it means that he can show off his knowledge about something in a good way, not an egotistical way. He's very neat. Uh, quite playful. They actually really love playing games, these two. And pretty active. They also enjoy, I mean, he goes out just like she comes here to help him with the museum. He goes out and helps her at the archaeology dig site now and then, too. He's a black thumb, social butterfly, friendly, dislikes children, and colorblind, which makes the art section of the museum kind of an interesting one uh, to be in charge of running. And then she, let's see, yeah, and he is a fortune sim with a money secondary. Yep. Or excuse me, he's a knowledge sim with fortune secondary. There we go. And then we have lovely Kalea Alkemp right here. She's a knowledge sim as well. She's currently working as a relic liberator. She's very neat, very nice, quite shy, and you know, so-so when it comes to being active and playful. Uh, apparently, oh yeah, she's, she's actually a chunky monkey, but this dress doesn't have a morph for it, so. We'll just have to, we'll see. Maybe she'll get a new outfit soon, but that's a really cute outfit on her. She's a party animal, animal lover, absent-minded, green thumb, and nurturing. Because she's an animal lover, but her husband's, uh, let's see. Oh, good. I thought he was allergic to animals, but he's not. So it looks like she's going to fill their house with tons of animals so she can have her green thumb nurturing party animal side. She's a little absent-minded, though, so hopefully that'll go over okay. You know, I could totally see her ending up with some sort of like a very greenhouse maybe even adopting one of the llamas on the island that would totally be her but yeah i think they're going to be a fun couple to add here and i think that the museum is going to be a lot of fun to run so let's start getting it set up first things first we need this place to make some money so we're going to find the ticket machine so that when sims show up here there we go the electro ticket machine let's see yeah, let's get this one. Nice fancy one. I guess we can put two of them. As soon as you walk in? Is that how we should do this? Or maybe it should just be like over here with admissions? Eh, it should probably be as soon as you walk in. Like a little doo -doo 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 -doo. There you go. You can get your ticket right there to stay and spend time here in the museum. So there's the ticket machine. And then we need to take care of our guests. The money that they have right now is left over from a grant that was given to them by the Eureka Foundation so that they could get this little museum up and going. But after that, it's totally on Jacob's head to make this a successful business venture. All right, let's see. Let's get a few toilets. Let's take care of the practical stuff real fast before we break out into the really fun stuff, like digging out all those really cool artsy things. Let's see, solar sink, yeah. That totally works. Uh, maybe we'll scooch them over a little bit. Row of sinks. Put some mirrors up. Oh, do we have the road matched up? Yep, road's already matched up. Ah, uh, but that is what I mentioned earlier about all the ways that you can customize The Sims 2. That is one of the things I absolutely adore the most about this game. Anything you can dream of, anything you want to do, basically, with The Sims, you can do it. 
you just need to hunt down the right uh the right mods and with the modding community the way it is they're probably out there let's see they're most likely in fact out there already it's just tracking them down that can take a little bit of time but that's also one of the fun things that i really love about the sims 2 community is that if you find the right group there are so many friendly people who can really help you hunt down items that you need I always, oh, but you know, it's always useful to learn how to use Google because that's one of the things that I'm sad that I can't always do for the people who watch. Hi everybody. Is that I don't know where I got all of this and sometimes the creator did not remember to put their name in the description. And so I have no clue where some of these items are from and no way of passing it on to other people. That's pretty cool, there we go. All right, there, I got the bathroom all set up. Oh, we need some lights. Let's get some lights going on in here. Getting the museum set up. Oh, this is fun. I mean, wouldn't this make such a fun place for Sims to bring people on dates? Speaking of dates, I mean, now that the teenagers are starting to roam into the world of dating. Put you there, put you there. Put some there. All right, and then some of the office too. There we go. All right, so there's that. So our guests are gonna be able to pee when they visit and they can pay. And we also need to make sure they're fed. So I wonder how, you know, I don't think I've ever done a coffee shop on a community lot that I was in charge of. So I wonder how this works. I wonder if this works at all. Let's put it down and then work as okay so we just need to have somebody be in charge of it okay we can totally pull that off so let us figure out how we're gonna deck this thing out it's a cute top oh yeah that's cute i like it then we need counter and i think we'll put some muffins up there i think i can set the muffins to be charged per plate so that when people take them then they'll actually pay for them that's what i mean all these downloads you guys never give up and be creative about how you use the downloads too i've been told that's what a lot of people really love about my series is that i'm very creative with how i'm going to use uh the items that i find to download and very creative i mean in general something doesn't have to be like their actual lifetime wants do not match up with the ones that i made up for them their actual lifetime wants to become a business tycoon and for some reason have 20 simultaneous lovers simultaneous lovers that doesn't fit either of their personalities and i didn't feel like re-rolling because i knew nothing that was in the game's database would really fit their personalities to me so i made up custom lifetime wants and i'll manually fulfill them when the time comes that they've fulfilled it all right here we go these are the cupcakes i was talking about strawberry muffins Let's see vanilla orange and choco fudge coconut Chocolate and cherry, blueberry and lime, chocolate and caramel. That totally sounds like something Jacob would have here. If you ask me, charge for plate, on. So yeah, we can turn that on and then people will pay for that. And eventually we can expand and make this a little bit bigger so they have more food to choose from. Yeah, that'll work. So now people have somewhere to eat. Let's put in, it's kind of bland in here too. Hmm. Let's change the flooring to be a cool wood floor so it's not quite so intimidating. Yeah, like this one. That's a nice wood floor. And then let's change the walls because it just started out as a nice bland. Hmm, maybe not that tone of blue, but I think we're on the right track. Not that one. No. That's one of the things no one tells you about this game until you really get into it, is that you spend an obscene amount of time worrying about little things like matching the shades of stuff. Eh, that's pretty cool. Should it be brick? We'll leave it brick. There we go. Alright, and then let's get some tables in here so people can sit down, relax, unwind, chit chat. It's- oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait for people to like start showing up here on dates and things like that. Cause I think it'd be a fun little spot. I love going to museums. 
that's actually one of the ways you can make me be like, oh, you're so attractive, as if you, you love going to museums and love doing things like that. It'll make me swoon. All right, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Let's just do something nice and modern like that. And what chairs would match? These guys? Yeah, nice modern, like, sleek look. I like it, I like it. Let's see, pull this away from the bathroom a little bit. Whoa! There we go, we don't need much. Since I doubt people will spend forever in here, but there we go. And then let's throw some plants in here to make the room feel complete, because what room doesn't feel complete with a few awesome plants hiding here and there? Hmm. Can't put it over there, because then it'll block stuff. Where's my hanging plants? That's better! Oh, there's your cutie. Put one there. Then where's my wall plants? Because we've got some pretty killer wall plants hiding somewhere. But I don't think I can find them right now. That's okay. We'll come back to it. Let's see, let's grab you. Um, maybe a little higher. <laughs> yeah, we'll just put it right there. And then let's just put some random piece of art right here and call it done for now. Ooh, you know what? Actually, let's wait! Because you know how when you go to the coffee shop, sometimes they have art from local artists up on the walls? Let's wait so we can put art from like local Ladesia artists up here. Like pictures and things when someone gets a camera. We still need a camera shop. I think it's ridiculous that the camera that you can take in-game pictures with is considered a career reward item. Because come on. I, I want pictures up on the walls all the time. Alright, so there we go. We've got that. I think we need to do a little more official setting up. Let's let's deck out the office a little bit. It's really bland too. I need a little more color here. Let's go ahead and replace these as well. Then let's just go ahead do the same walls. Yeah. Ah, da dun da dun da dun. Maybe something a little bit more like that. No. No. I could live with it. The problem is the bottoms don't match. Like, yeah, okay, I'll live with that. There we go. So here's Jacob's office. Let's give him a nice desk. It's kind of fun. I love setting up some of the, the new areas sometimes. Because you know it's going to be so rewarding once everything's all done. Let's give him a nice fancy desk. Because he's a kind of a fancy guy. Let's pull it forward a little bit. And then let's grab a chair. I think he's the kind of man who would take great pride in sitting down in one fancy chair. Maybe not that fancy. I don't know, maybe that fancy, but probably more comfortable. Not wooden like that. Let's see, let's see. Where's my super fancy chairs? What about you? You're kind of fancy. But I don't think you're the kind of style we're looking for. We want something to match. Something that's regal and says, hey, I'm in charge here. Not that regal. I think we should put some of these chairs, like, out in the museum area, but then surround it so Sims don't sit in it. Because that would be wrong. You can't sit in these fancy things. Bad, Simmy's bad. Hmm. Hmm. This will have to do for now. Alright, and then let's give him a computer and a phone. Because those are just... These are uh, workplace expenses. Including a couple of video games that are downloaded. That's modern art. I don't know what you're talking about. All this, all this fussing. Whoops, did I put it on the opposite side? I sure did. Wink. There we go. Alright, then let's get the phone in here. There! So now he has a bit of an office. Very bland. We'll perk it up as things go, but for now we need to spend the rest of the money on the museum again. Alright, right over here. I think we should make like a little... little gift shop sort of area. Where people can come and buy gifts. Like little trinkets for having visited the museum. What colors can I make you? Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm, quite a selection of colors. I approve. Can I get top? Let me see, top can go white. Top can go kind of black. I don't know. I don't know. For now, I think we'll just leave that. And maybe this will be like a central, central area uh, for a decoration for now. Hmm. Because I can't really... I don't know, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Alright, let's start adding some decorations. Which is kind of fun. Let's just go... Where are we? Okay. Oh, this one's good. Oh, look, we can set up like a little, uh, little oriental section, I think. That, that might work. Oh, one second. Because we need to turn on our build sheets. Doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. There we go. One of these days, one of these days, I'll actually edit my startup file. Snap objects to create defaults. And then... Come here, you. Boom. 45 degree angle, rotation true. There we go. Alright, yeah, we can do this. We'll, we'll set up a little, little oriental deco section with all these cute little kites. Hmm, that's, I think this one would be considered Native American. I can't see. Yeah, that one's probably more Native American, so. Alright, let's set up this section real fast. It's by you guys. Oh, look at how cool they are. So we're gonna have some sims, like, pop in, visit, look at these items. See various colors. There we go. And then let's put these guys up on... I really... I need to find kind of a decorative... I used to have this really awesome countertop that was like a museum countertop where it made a showcase for when you stuck the item into it. So I need to find that again. The museum showcase countertop. Hmm, do I have anything like it over here? No, no. Oh, I do have a little tea set though. That would be kind of cool to put in. It could be, oh, we'll do that. So this will be like a temporary interactive little tea zone. And then we'll put up some bamboo and things in just a second. Oh, I like it. So it won't be just one of those museums where all you do is go and look at stuff without touching. It'll have a little bit more shebang and shablam to it. Let's put you over here. Mr. Kitty, you go here. Lucky Cat right here. And how much fun is this just to have some fun with with random items and random decorations? Like, let's get some, like, there, boom. Random art. Because it's over here. Just boom, boom, and then we'll put more stuff. Yeah, this can be fun. All right, now I need snap objects to go true for a second so I can put the kites in. I think we'll put the kites right there. Do you have... Come here, you. Nope, just the same pattern. But yeah, we'll just, we'll leave it like that. Do you have any recolors? This is a really cute kite too, so I would not mind some recolors of it. Let's see, maybe scoot that here, scoot that there, there. Maybe we can put some bamboo somewhere. I'm pretty sure I have bamboo coming out the yin yang if I look in the right spots. There it is. Plants, and then... Why do these little things have to be so tiny? <laughs> I can hardly see. All right, then let's do snap objects to grid faults. We can set up some decorative bamboo around them. Oh, there we go. Any other bamboo? Itty bitty bamboo that can go on the bottom? I was just looking at you, I swear. Thinking about putting you in. Oh, there's a bamboo. There we go. Uh, should I like to do... There. That, that kind of completes it, makes it a little more rounded out. But yeah, that's fun! So that was just from like a random jump into our decorative folder. This could be a lot of fun. 